welcome back to my channel for those of you who haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe and be notified of my weekly uploads for those of you who have subscribed already thank you anyway this morning i went on a hike uh, i brought my coffee and it was around an azusa river wilderness park it was really nice the view was amazing. It's an easy trail, so you might want to check it out if you're around the area. And But of course, I came back home hungry and wanting, wanted to do something good, but you know, easy and, and quick. So today, we will make some garlic buttery seasoned um, steak strips. Oh, so good. I can't wait. So. I'm gonna show you how. Let's get started. I'm using a tap sirloin steak, but you could definitely use your favorite cut. It could be ribeye, New York strip steak, or tenderloin. It's really up to you. Make sure to pat the steak dry with a clean paper towel or napkin. And now cut up your steak into strips. And of course, feel free to adjust the cut size to your preferred strip size. This time we will just evenly coat our steak strips with the seasoning that we made earlier. Also, rub the seasoning over all sides of the steak strips and allow them to rest for about 20 minutes before searing. So now we're ready to sear our meat. So put of oil in a skillet over medium-high heat until hot. And then I'm adding some sprigs of fresh rosemary. I'm actually growing this right now as an indoor herb because I love fresh rosemaries. I love the smell of it. And I think it enhances the flavor of the meat. So I could use this every day if I'm cooking meat or as a seasoning. Dried rosemary or fresh ones, I think they're really good. And you wanna sear the steak strips in batches for about a minute or two in each side until the edges are kind of browned or a little crispy
set aside the cooked meat and add extra oil as needed in your next batches and also use new sprigs of fresh rosemary So I'm adding back the steak to coat it with this garlic and buttery flavor and I'm also doing this in batches and it takes about 30 seconds to a minute in each side it's really up to you with your preferred doneness of the meat so this is really up to you I personally prefer medium rare to medium so I'm trying to not overcook this So you also don't want to overcook your garlic So make sure that you put in new chopped garlic in every batch Okay guys, this really smells so good and I'm so ready to eat this. It's so good. It's medium and tender and it just tastes good. You should try this at home. Okay? Thank you for watching.